One Friday Fights is back. We're coming up to the main event of the evening. And it's gonna be a good one. It's a catch weight. Yord leg peg or Acharya taking on Silvio Vitez. We're gonna go global rules Muay Thai in this matchup. That's three three minute rounds, 10 point must system, three knockdowns in a round equal a TKO. No throws or grappling. From the blue corner, Silvio Vitez! Silvio Hitman Vitez! Wow, this Romanian, but living and fighting out of Spain, coming here to Bangkok, Thailand to prove himself. Mitch, I don't know much about this fighter personally. What do you know? The only thing you need to know is that he comes from Sigyotong. <laughs> Out of Pattaya, Thailand, there's crew toy Sigyotong in his corner. The legend Yotong's son is really here to support Silvio Guitez. Vitez is a nasty, well-rounded striker. He's got high pressure hands, big kicks, likes to get inside the clinch. Not much of a game plan guy. He really didn't break much down for us. He just says he figures it out inside the ring. He sees what the opponent's gonna do. He wants to understand the timing and really the pressure that Yod Lekpek is gonna bring because Yod Lekpek has relentless pressure and forward motion. So he knows that he's gonna be forced onto the back foot, which he typically doesn't like, but he's gonna have to wear down Yod Lekpek over a series of minutes inside the ring and really try to find the right timing and the right shots that are gonna be effective against him. He wants to go toe to toe and he wants to make this fun and he's looking forward to it, but his opponent, is something special, Paul. From the red corner, you let Pat or Acharya. Yup, let Pat. Or Acharya, the destroyer. He is a four times Muay Thai world champion. This guy is a legend. 84 wins. I mean, wow, Mitch. He's he's coming here and he, he he's gonna be ready for this main card fight. Yeah, three times he won Roger Nanan Stadium Championship. He's also got a win here at Lumpini. He recently changed gyms, and he says that in the past four weeks, he's been able to work on his strength and his sharpness. Strength, not something Yod Lek Peck needs. As you can see, he's built like a Thai brick house. But he did get a lot sharper in his hands. He wanted to not come in so wild and be a little bit more strict with his hand combinations. He knows his opponent is very dangerous with the punches as well. He has to watch out for that spinning elbow, but he does want to close that distance and box. He's looking to get the KO in the second round. But this guy is so much fun to watch. You know this is going to be entertaining, Paul. Gentlemen, this is the main event of one Friday Fights 2. Three three-minute rounds of a 140-pound catchweight Muay Thai contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training out of MFC Noya and Sityotong, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 45 and 7. Representing Romania, Silvio Hitman Vitez. And 
introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He is a four-time Muay Thai world champion, training at Teddy Gaokao, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 84 and 33. Representing Thailand, Youth like Pet, the Destroyer, or Acharya. That's a nice buzz Just. at Just. Lumpini Stadium right now, leading into this fight. Ah. Subo Vitez versus Yodlekpek. Yodlekpek coming out in that southpaw stance. Vitez, conventional. Immediately starts firing that right hand. That's what Vitez needs to pay attention to. That left low kick of your leg pack is, I mean, it's the equivalent of getting hit in the leg with a baseball bat. It just, and look at his tree trunks for legs. It's like a two by four. That thing is, that thing is a mean looking. He's trying to walk him down. See, immediately you can see that he picks up his leg and it's moving him. And that's what those leg kicks do. He stopped his last opponent with leg kicks, so it's, they're terrifying. My knees are buckling just thinking about it. As Vitez goes high there. You see Vitez being forced on yes. the back foot, right? And the, the leg kick forced him to switch stances because he was taking out his lead leg. He got a good left punch in there. I don't think Yellow Pick was expecting that. Yeah, he, your leg peck is trying to just, tee off on yeah. those legs, walk down Vitez, and really do good work. Changed from Yod Lekpek's style in the, in the gym move. We're still seeing this forward, just pressure monster coming forward. The Destroyer is an apt nickname. Good hand combinations, trying to, Vitez is trying to get something off. Yeah, I think Vitez is trying to, trying to find his moment and, and, and catch any opportunities he can because, as you, as you so well put it, Oh, good elbow there. Gonna catch just leg kicks are so menacing. His hands, his hands, too. His hands, too. Thinks, yeah. His hands, he's not just swinging with reckless abandon. These are accurate, strict strikes that he's throwing. The defense, ooh, the left hand got him. Oh, combo, that right hand. There, yeah. Vitez stuck in a few. Vitez is having a round here. He's doing good work with these, when he switches stances, right? Great right punch. having a hard time understanding the southpaw. Good catch to the counter right there from Vitez. He's got to make this dirty. Oh, with the head kick! Wow. Vitez put it on. with it, but he's, 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 he's in a corner, and Vitez is putting pressure on there. That's what Vitez last... needs. Look at him, rocking him. Oh, yeah. Last 40 seconds. Who's for you? Back on. Oh, wow. Another left. Straight in there. But Jolikpek doesn't look phased at all. They are putting on a striking exhibition in the home of where the world's greatest strikers came from in Lumpini Stadium. Nice knees inside the clinch, landed by Vitez, but looks like your leg pick is knocking the snot out of his face. Not just his face, he's going to the body, he's going to the head. I love it. Oh, that was your fun leg first round. That first round. Let's see some highlights from that first round, because there were many. The first half of the round, it was all your leg peck, landing big leg kicks, coming forward, answering with multiple punch combinations, but that head kick right there was a beautifully timed head kick to wrap the shin around the head of Vitez, and then he follows yeah. it up with a beautiful left hand. He does his best work when he switches to southpaw. He came out conventional, but then when he went to southpaw, look at him landing the big high left kick, mixing up shots, really putting on the pressure on Yodlek Peck. This, there is a reason why this is the main event here at Lumpini Stadium. Seconds out. 
Silvio Vitez ready to go to war against the destroyer, Yod Lekpek or Acharya. You can see on the back there of Silvio's right leg. It's already bruised up and welted because of kicks just like that from Yot Lekfet. Oh, that's three in a row. That's what Silvio needs to do. But yes, he needs to answer that leg kick by closing the distance with those hands. Good close range elbow as Yot Lekfet throws a right hand. That's a push kick there. Oh, Paul, the West has yeah. Madison Square Garden, but the East, we got Lumpini <laughs> Stadium, baby. Your leg pick, your knees inside the legs there of Silvio Vitez, but Vitez throws right back at him. The great thing is Vitez is still, still standing here, ready to trade. Nice boy shot. Boy. The cheer level has gone up a few decibels right now. And look, look, that next coming back in with those leg kicks. Oh, good oh, head move, Vitez. Vitez. Oof. Slipping, Slipping out of the way. That left hand is finding its hold. Oh, the right leg. Look at him attacking the rear leg. Oh, yeah. Going across the body and coming to the leg. Oh, oh look at his leg. Oh, looks like a Ziploc bag full of hamburger. Oh, he's, oh, and he's busted oh, wide open. Okay. Yon Lekpet is definitely doing some damage here, but Vitez still standing here, ready to trade. His hand combinations are fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh, but those leg kicks. Every time Vitez tries to get off with the hand combinations, Yon Lekpet digs to the body. Looks like they're gonna take a look at that cut. Yes, he is leaking. Doctor's, doctor has been asked to come in and just take a look. As Yon Lekpek is uh, in a bad spot too, board. right? Yes, right just above. There. So it's going to roll right into his eyes. Yeah. Dr. Jimmy there taking a look at Silvio Vitez. He's okay. Yeah. Look at it, Dr. Jimmy. He's, he's fine. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Right. It was a no, he can't continue. He can't continue. Yo, leg peg, as advertised, yes. this was fun. Yep, he's pointing at the elbow. Oh, the he knows what did the damage. Oh, oh yeah. there it was. The destroyer lives up to his name. Like a machete coming down across Boom. the forehead. Oh. And just for good measure, he followed up with a nice knee to the body. <laughs> he, he, was, he was providing some real damage there. So the ref coming in to call a stoppage there to check. Doctor coming in and agreeing that the fight had to be stopped with a menacing elbow from Gut Lekpen. And he's proving why he's a four-time Muay Thai world champion. Right there was a masterclass in showing everything that he had in his arsenal. Let's go up to Dom in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest by way of Dr. Stoppage, you'd like Pat or Ed Charia. Congratulations, death made in order for Yot Lekpet or Acharya. He's come back to Lupini, this iconic stadium here for the legendary sport of Muay Thai, and he showed everyone exactly what it's all about. That elbow doing its job, the destroyer taking the win.
I am here with Yolekpek or Acharyo. What a fun fight. Is that how you expected it to go down? I didn't expect that, but I train and I research my opponent, and he, I know that he is very dangerous. Yeah, you were really landing a lot of powerful leg kicks to that back leg, but then you closed the distance and landed an elbow. Did you think the doctor was going to call it? He was leaking pretty bad. So in that moment, his serious condition, I thought that the game was about to end. Yes, the game was about to end, but I do have some good news for you. That fight was so much fun that Chachri Sinyotong has given you a $10,000 bonus for your win. I was so excited. I want to say thanks to Kun Chatri and I want to thanks the team and thanks everybody. I'm so excited. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for your winner, your leg pack or Acharya. What a great win there for Yotlek Pet, and he walks away with that bonus, which is going to go a long way for our fighters here. Thank you so much to our international broadcast viewers for tuning in. You can continue to watch online on YouTube. And here it is, the monster fight of the night. You can see exactly what damage and devastating form Jotpetlek did against Silvio Vitez. He took the fight all the way through to the second round and finished him with that massive elbow that eventually stopped the fight. But you can see exactly why this guy is a Muay Thai world champion. Fantastic fight to end our main card there. Goodbye again to all our international broadcast viewers. You can continue to watch online on YouTube, at Facebook, and watch.1fc.com.